Whenever we get a chance to travel, I love it because it allows my team and I a little bit more time to bond together and to get to know each other more and catch up with family and all the other things that uh, may be going on in our lives outside of work. In LA, we had a chance to have dinner together and really reflect. LA has just been a, I guess, an emotional trip for us for some reason, but we were able to really bond. And during that time, um, we were, you know, we were toasting. And I shared with them how my journey started as an event planner. And um, for the people that have been on my team from the beginning, Delonte and Frederick, they understand this story. And I told uh, Dana and Danielle that, you know, there was times where I planned events and we didn't make money. Like there was no profit for many reasons. You know, I didn't price well. I didn't know my worth. I didn't understand the, the financial obligations of running a business and actually looking out for my team and myself. And you know, that was years ago. But at the same time, people don't realize that the glitz and glamour of social media can be a hindrance to your success. So often we see people that have millions of followers and we believe, oh, they have millions of followers. They have hundreds of thousands of people liking and sharing uh, their posts and their videos and this and that. That means they must be successful. That means they must have plenty of money and they're able to do everything that they wanna do. Even at that point in someone's life with so many followers, that does not mean success. I felt when I was, you know, working and not even being able to pay my, my team that people felt that I was successful. They looked from the outside in and didn't know that we were barely making it when I started. No one was, you know, flying us anywhere to go and do events and it was a struggle just to get clients. I wanted them to know as I was talking to them for dinner, tough times are going to come. But the thing is that you can't focus on other people's success because their success may not always be what you think it is. You know, people say the grass is always greener. No, I'm willing to actually stay here with my grass being a little bit brown and nurturing that so that way it can be as green as I desire it to be. But when you're out there and you're pushing and you're working, you're hustling, make sure your focus is on what really matters to you. If you're so caught up in the vanity matrix, that actually may be a hindrance to your success. So push forward, keep going, and understand what success looks like for you and not what you believe success is for someone else.